welcome to the session today's topic of the discussion is the light dependent resistors that is ldr and the solar cell my name is ajit subhas surenshi working as an assistant professor in electronics telecommunication department at walch institute of the technology solar so what will be the outcome of the student session at the end of the session to the student will able to select the appropriate transistor transducers to measure the physical parameters like light intensity and converts the light intensity to the power so before we proceed further into the session uh, what should the basic knowledge you should possess that is uh, you should have a knowledge of the different material uh, that is its property especially the electrical property so electrical properties are the Uh, materials are classified based on the electrical property as are the insulators semiconductors metals so you should have a knowledge of that and what should be the conductivity of the metal semiconductors and the insulators so knowledge of the electrical circuit analysis which is at as in at the basic level so ldr light de uh, light dependent resistors so what is mean by the ldr a light dependent resistor name itself suggest it is a resistors which will converts the light falling on into the equivalent equivalent resistance so resistance changes which is resistance is a directly proportional to the light intensity so more will be the light falling on this ldr less will be the resistance so this ldr is basically uh, which is also called as a photo resistors or a photo cells photo resistor in the sense that uh, resistor changes with the light intensity falling on it and a cell in the sense that when you connect this resistors with the uh, another external energy source it will act as a variable voltage so so cell in that sense and the resistance in this sense so this will be the symbol of the ldr that is light dependent resistors uh this is a symbol of the light falling on it and this is one of the actual image of the ldr so this is your um, ldr material that is semiconductor materials and these are the two leads so it is a uh, two junction devices that is two terminal devices so construction so construction of the leds is mostly for from the semiconductors so no metal is used here no insulator is used only the semiconductor materials are used commonly used are the lead sulfide and cadmium sulfide nowadays is mostly recently used for the construction or formation of the uh, ldr so this as you can see this there are these are the two uh, different leads or junctions so which is connected with the metal and this is actual semiconductor material that is a uh, cadmium sulfide and this and on this top of this there is a anti reflection gla glass coating so where whatever is the light falling on it it will be get absorbed on this material and there will be the no reflection from it so at this to end and you will get the variable resistance due to the variable intensity light falling on it now types of the ldr ldr are uh, classified in two types that is intrinsic and extrinsic type so in the intrinsic type a pure uh, semiconductor material is used is used that is silicon germanium or uh, simply the cad cadmium or any other ga gallium also so simply the semiconductor material without any mixture or without any alloy alloy or mixture is used compound is used and in the extrinsic uh, semi extrinsic side type of the semiconductors a uh, metals are mixed that is impurities added in that so difference between this two intrinsic and extrinsic is that uh, the conductivity of the extrinsic material is enhanced as compared to the intrinsic material and also the band gap band gap of the extrinsic uh, type ldr is less as compared to the intrinsic type of the intrinsic type of the ldr so extrinsic type of the ldr allows us to uh, have a different concentration of the impurities and also allows the different band gaps so this will make us more versatile and extrinsic extrinsic type of the ldr is most commonly used 
Now working of the LDR is when light falls on the LDR light dependent resistors. So most of the electrons that is which is in the valence band will be the jump into the conduction band. And uh, as the most of the electrons in the conduction band, uh, the conductivity of that particular conductivity of that LDR devices increases. Conductivity increases means resistance decreases because resistance is inversely proportional to the conductivity. So as the conductivity increases, resistance decreases. Similarly, when no light fall on it, uh, there will be the high resistivity because semiconductor material, uh, when there is no uh, energy excitation from the valence band to the uh, conduction band, it will act as an insulator slide. It will present a high amount of the resistance. Now, this is the characteristics of the LDR. If you see, this is a dark when there is no light falling on it. So this characteristic is the resistance versus the intensity which is measured in the lux. And uh, this left side and head side is the, what we, it is called as a less intensity, that is a dark side. And this is a thousand, that means uh, during the daylight you observe the thousand, uh, typically thousand lux of the intensity during the daylight. And if you see the dark value of the resistance is which is very high, which is in range of the 10 raised to 8, it is greater than the mega ohm. And when full light during the sunlight, you can see the resistance value which is coming to the two digit number, which is an order of the 10 ohm. And also you can observe that this relation that is inversely proportional, this resistance is inversely proportional to the light intensity. Now coming into the, what do you think, what should be the value of the LDR when ideal value of the LDR when, when light falling on it or also when no light is falling on it. So what should be the ideal dark value of the resistance of the LDR and what should be the value of the uh, LDR when light falls, full light falls on it. Think about it, pause this video write the value this those values on the paper so this value sh should be the dark value should be the infinity so sh this should be the infinity and and when full light falling on it daylight falling on it it should the value should be the zero this this these are the two ideal values of the ldrs applications now application of the LDR is one of the automatic emergency light when there is a dark uh, the that will dark will be sensed by the LDR and it will turn on the emergency light which is running on the batteries audio compressor also a fire alarm and automatic street uh, street light in the automatic street light light will be turned on and off during the uh, it will be the turn on during the night and it will be the turn off during the day by sensing the light with the help of the LDR. Now solar cells. Solar cells are the solar cell which is also called as a photovoltaic cell and which, which, which is an electrical device which will convert the light falling on it into the equivalent electricity or equivalent uh, current. So as the voltage remains constant because this is a voltage only the current is a uh, current is a uh, directly proportional to intensity when light intensity falling on its solar cell is increases current also increases so which is uh, which is called as a physical and uh, chemical phenomena which is observed in the solar cell so solar cell is also called as a photovoltaic cell and this will be the symbols this is a battery symbol if you see carefully battery symbol positive and negative and light falling on it so construction of the solar cell, again semiconductor materials are used and two different types of the materials are used that is P-type and N-types. In the P-types, majority carriers are the holes and in the N-types, majority carriers are the electrons. So when light falling on this uh, structures, electron hole pair is generated. So this is a P-type material, P-type layer and this is a N-type layer. And commonly used uh, uh, material is, is the silicon, and also the gallium arsenide is also now used in the solar cell nowadays. Working. So in the working, when light falling on it, it will get absorbed. And this light absorbed is uh, 
use to have a, it will gain the energy that is electron in the valence band will gain the sufficient energy to cross or come into the conduction band and in this way the electron hole pairs are generated so absorption of the light and generation of the electron hole pair at the boundaries of the pn junction so hole with will be the generated at in the p type material and electron will be the generated in the n type material and this electron hole pair so last stage will be the separation this electron hole pairs are get separated uh, from the junction so this by this three phenomena you can explain the working of the uh, solar cell that is absorption generation of the electron hole pair at the junction that is pn junction and the separation of that electron hole pair that will constitute the current now solar cell formation solar panel formation in the solar panel formation uh, there is a single cell and these single cells are connected into the series and parallel combination and forming a one panel again this uh, panel is connected again again into the series and parallel depending upon the whatever is the voltage and current requirement if the voltage requirement is more uh, cells are connected in the series if the voltage uh, current requirement is more the cells are connected in the parallel now this is one of the typical application as a photovoltaic system as is generating the electricity so this will this will cell have a generator and it has amputated that is maximum power tracking system and inverter because the power generated is a dc it need a inverter for it so generating power this is one of the examples of the photovoltaic system now application there are different applications satellite in the satellite solar panel it is used and most of the applications are the power generation it is on grid power generation off grid power generation rooftop uh, power generation so these are the power applications of the solar cells these are the references thank you